Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be doing this video. I have been looking forward to filming this for a long time, ever since I started planning it. So I am super excited to bring you a small business gift guide. Coral is in here by the way, so if you see her in the background, don't mind her. So yeah, she'll be in here for this video. She was like banging down my door for me to let her in. So I let her in, she's here. Hopefully she is not too distracting. So I wanted to make a small business gift guide as my way to help out my favorite small businesses at this time of year. The holiday season is a really critical time of year for small businesses so that they know what kind of sales they have going into the slow season usually, which is like January, February time. So it is super important to shop small during the holidays. And in addition to supporting our favorite small businesses, I also have discount codes for you guys. So every single store that I'm working with on this video has given me a discount code for you guys to use this is not a sponsored video they just gave me a code so I'm not making any money from this I'm not being paid to say anything I'm just giving back you guys a code so that you can go shop with them and support their business during the holiday and it is only a 10% off code because I didn't want to ask for more than that a lot of small businesses are running on very thin margins to begin with so I wanted it to be a nice medium between you guys getting a discount and also the businesses not taking too much of a cut I am really grateful to all these stores stores for partnering with me on this and also I want to mention many of these places also have Black Friday or small business Saturday sales going on so if you're watching this video in real time this is going up on Black Friday you can head to their websites to shop with them during their sale and then the codes that I have will last through the end of the year so some of these folks I know personally they are my friends some of them I have met over the years or I have just fallen in love with their business completely organically so this is truly a curation of some of my all-time favorite small businesses that offer online shipping so wherever you live in the US you can order from these stores online so I divided this video into categories so I kind of grouped the businesses into some different categories. First, we're gonna talk about jewelry, then some different boutiques. Most of the boutiques have quite a variety of different things. Then vintage stores, artwork, and food. So I'll be telling you where they're located. Like I said, everyone has an online store so you can shop online even if you don't live in the area, but if you are local, definitely go visit them in person. So I'll be telling you where they're located, what they carry, what I've bought from them in the past, and then my favorite items that are available in their store right now. And of course, I will also tell you the discount code to their store. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So starting with jewelry, first up is a shop called Merfolk Jewels. They are located in Portland, Oregon, but I believe the store is only online. It's on Etsy. It is LGBTQ plus owned. The owner Emmett is super nice, super friendly. He has always been super responsive to any questions I've had and I've bought a lot of pieces from him over the years. So this store is carrying vintage and antique jewelry and a little bit of new old stock jewelry. So it's like vintage jewelry that's brand new. All of the gems and metals that are used are tested to guarantee what they are and identify them so you know what you're buying. And they also have a selection of handmade charms using vintage jewelry or like a stone from a broken piece of jewelry to give it new life and refresh it into something new. Some of my all-time favorite pieces are from this store. I've bought a few rings from him. I have a couple of little earrings that I wear from them. And my favorite item in the shop right now are these Zodiac peep show tokens turned into a necklace charm. I think these are so cool. Emmett has had like a kind of rotating collection of these, like every once in a while he'll find some new ones. And I think they're really cool. These are available now on Etsy as well as lots of other fun pieces. So you can shop with Merfolk Jewels on Etsy with the code Sarah10 for 10% off your order. Next up is Beth Robeson Art. Beth is located in Northern Virginia, but this is also an Etsy store. It's online only. Although she does do pop-ups at a lot of events and markets and things like that. So if you follow her on Instagram, you can see where she's popping up. She is kind of a friend of a friend. Like I got to know her somehow through Instagram and I saw that she made jewelry and recommended that she apply for our jewelry contest at Lilac Bijou, which is another store I'm gonna talk about in a minute. But at Lilac Bijou, they do like a annual local jewelry designer contest. And if you win, your jewelry is carried in the store. So she won that contest, I think back in 2019. So that's how I really got to know her. And I absolutely love her jewelry. She makes handmade clay earrings, mostly earrings. There's a little bit of other stuff mixed in. They are super lightweight. So it's a great way to wear big earrings 
things without the weight that you usually find on your ears. Everything is made in beautiful colors and designs. One of my favorite things that she does is when she's making a set of earrings, if she has leftover clay, she'll save it and then later on she'll make a series of like recycled clay earrings, which I think is really cool. So she actually uses all of her materials, nothing is scrapped. I have several pairs of earrings from her. I love them, I wear them all the time. And my favorite item in her store right now are these. Like I said, she uses recycled clay. So these are the recycled clay arches. Like I said, her shop is on Etsy and you can shop with Beth using the code SARAH10 for 10% off through the end of the year. The next jewelry shop I wanna talk about is called Seed and Soil and they're located in Garden Valley, California. I found them through Darling Boutique, which is also another shop I'm gonna talk about. There's definitely a theme in this video of finding local small businesses through other local small businesses, which I absolutely love. So their line was being carried at Darling and I absolutely fell in love with it. I bought some pieces from Darling and then I started following them online. I've actually worked with them in the past as well as one of their micro influencers. So I've had a couple pieces from them gifted to me over the last year or so. I love their approach to using real small channels and Instagram accounts of real people to grow their following instead of huge influencers. So they make really beautiful botanical jewelry. So it's real pressed flowers cast in resin and they make big statement pieces as well as really tiny dainty jewelry. I I own several pairs of earrings for them. I wear them all the time. They're super versatile. They're also really lightweight because they're made of resin. And my favorite item in their store right now are these little gold filled huggy hoops. This is from like their new super fine delicate collection and I love all the pieces in this collection but I really love these little hoops. You can shop with them on their website. When you join their email list which is a pop-up on their website you'll get 10% off your first order and they're also running a Black Friday and Small Business Saturday sale for 30% off. The last jewelry store I want to talk about is called Kemi Collection and this is located in Montreal, Canada, but they do ship to the US. I found their store completely by chance. I was in Montreal for work in October and I just walked by the store and absolutely fell in love with it. They carry the most beautiful, dainty, handmade jewelry in gold and silver and they also carry really beautiful like lacy, sexy lingerie. So I feel like this is a great place to buy a gift if you're trying to buy someone jewelry and lingerie. This is the place. The jewelry is in a lot of different price points as well. So there's like sterling silver, there's gold filled, and then there's solid gold. And they have some pieces with like diamonds and fine jewelry. So there's quite a range of different things at different price points. Their staff is super nice, super helpful. They're in Montreal. So all the staff that I talked to was bilingual. They have beautiful French accents. And it was just a super nice, positive shopping experience when I went into their store. I bought a really, really cute, dainty, tiny little stud earring from them. That's solid gold with CZs and I wear it in my third piercing on my one ear. My favorite item that's in the store right now, I was perusing their website because there's a lot of stuff on there that I love, but this Genesis Moonstone Sapphire Ring is one of my favorites right now. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. You can shop with them on their website and you can use the code KEMI10 for 10% off your first order. By the way, I will link all of the websites and the discount codes down in the description. Okay, so now let's talk about boutiques. Of course, I have to start off with the greatest of all time, Lila. Lilac Bijou. Lilac has such a special place in my heart because I worked for them for four years. I'm very fortunate to have become good friends with the owner, Fern. She and I keep in touch. I love her. So I managed the store for four years. I did all of their social media. I did their website had such a lovely time working there. It really changed my career and gave me a lot of the skills that I use now in my career. So I am very grateful for the time that I spent working in this store. So Lilac carries chic women's clothing and then there's also jewelry, accessories, gifts, shoes, all sorts of stuff. A lot of the jewelry is local and handmade. So two of my favorite designers are Fern's mom, Leda. She has a line of custom jewelry at the store, which is absolutely beautiful. And my other favorite artist there is Gina Luce. She makes the most beautiful, delicate, gorgeous pieces. I have a lot of her pieces that I've collected over the years. I'm actually wearing a pair of her earrings right now. And my other favorites in this store are the sweaters. They always find the best sweaters for the winter and dresses too. Fern has a really good eye for dresses. So my two favorite items that are in the store right now are the Giovanna dress. I love the sleeves on this dress. I think it's so fun. And then this dress, which is called the Goldie dress. You can shop with Lilac right on their website and you can use code SARAH10 for 10% off your order through the end of the year. Next up is a store called Mango and Main. This is also in Annapolis. It's on a very slept on street in Annapolis called Maryland Avenue. 
that street has been popping off, especially in the last couple years. A lot of new cute stores have opened on that street and Mango and Main was one of the first ones that was like a magnet for people to go down there. This is a fair trade store. I absolutely love everything in this store. The owner, Shannon, is super nice. I met her again through Lilac Bijou. She and Fern kind of were friends from being small business owners. I met her, we collaborated with her on a ton of events and projects when I worked at Lilac. She is so nice and she has such a big heart for bringing amazing artisan made items from all over the world to the local Annapolis community. So this store has a huge selection of artisan made items so there's clothing, jewelry, homewares, gifts, kitchen items, candles, everything you can think of. Baskets are a really big thing here. She has some beautiful, beautiful handmade woven baskets that are in all different sizes. So everything in the whole store is fair trade, fair wage, and most of the artisans are women. So you get to support women around the world when you shop here. I have bought some jewelry here over the years. I've also bought holiday ornaments in the past. And I also bought a really, really great candle from them last year. I cannot remember what it's called or else I would be ordering it again. My number one favorite item that's in the store right now is this dress. It's called the Adelaide dress. I am in love with it. I look at it online so frequently. It's a little bit expensive, but I think I might have to take the plunge and finally order it because it is so beautiful. I love the colors. You can shop with Mango and Main on their website and you can use the code Sarah10 for 10% off through the end of the year. Next up in boutiques is a store called Ritual Shop, which is in Rittenhouse Square in Philadelphia. I am very lucky to live so close to this store. I absolutely love it. This is one of the first stores that caught my eye when I came to Philly just to look for apartments like before I even really moved here because they have such a cute pink exterior storefront so it catches your eye right away and then inside they have a huge selection of jewelry crystals apothecary and beauty items and also really cute greeting cards as well next door to ritual actually is the owner's sister shop so the owner is named Angela and she just opened a new store right next door that's like a fine jewelry custom studio so she's a jeweler she does really beautiful custom designs so that side is more for like engagements weddings fine jewelry Jewelry, and then the ritual side is more like a mixture of everything. So I've bought a lot of stuff from Ritual in the last year that I've lived here. My favorite pieces are an artisan made blown glass vase. I love that vase. And I've also bought a lot of greeting cards for them. Like I said, like they're just kind of a small little section in the store, but they're all really cute. So I usually pick up my greeting cards from Ritual. My favorite items in the store right now are gonna be anything by Jenny Kwan and Margaret Cross. So those are two other designers who I absolutely love. I've been following them for years online and Ritual is the only place that I've ever been able to look at their pieces in real life. So love that, especially for expensive jewelry. I feel like you really want to see it in real life before you buy it. You can shop with Ritual on their website. Again, the code is Sarah10 for 10% off your order. And you'll probably notice the theme. The code for almost all of these is Sarah10. Some of them are different, so just make sure to watch through the whole video and figure out which ones are different, but most of them are Sarah10. The last boutique I want to talk about is called Darling X Dashing. They are located in Charlottesville, Virginia, and I met them by actually helping them revamp their website about two years ago now. I had such a nice experience getting to know the owner Linnea and her whole staff. They are all super, super nice. And in the time since I lived in Charlottesville, they've actually expanded. So when I was there, they only had one store. It was called Darling, and it was like a mixture of consignment clothing, so secondhand clothing, highly curated, really beautiful selection. And then the other half of the store was artisan made, local made items. So stuff like jewelry, candles, gifts, cards, paper goods, all of that sort of stuff. So it was very like female focused. And then recently they opened another side of the store called Dashing, which is more of like the masculine side. So it's a lot of men's clothing and then more masculine sort of gifts, artisan made items as well. So this is a great place to shop if you love small business because Darling Dashing is a small business and then they carry tons and tons and tons of small artists. It's almost like going to like a pop-up market or a flea market, except it's there all the time, which is great. I have bought a lot of clothes from Darling over the years. Some of my all-time favorite clothing items are from here. I've also bought jewelry. Like I said, my very first seed and soil jewelry was from Darling. My favorite item in the store right now is actually one of their vendors called Candlecore. They make really, really fun candles and candle holders. You can shop Darling X Dashing on their website and you can use code Sarah10 for 10% off your order through the end of the year. Okay, now let's talk about vintage stores. First up is a store called Vintage MC. They are located in Frederick, Maryland. I actually 
actually featured them in my Ultimate Thrift Guide of Frederick, so I will link that up here. I found their store completely randomly a few years ago one day. I just like stumbled past it. This was when they were in their old location that was really tiny and just like fell in love with everything. So obviously as the name implies, they carry really beautiful mid-century modern furniture. They somewhat recently moved to a really big space in like the downtown area of Frederick and the showroom is huge now. There's tons of stuff, really, really nice furniture. If you're looking for mid-century furniture, this is the place, but they also carry a lot of like smaller decorative items, kitchenware, glassware, all that kind of stuff as well. So my favorite things that I've bought at Vintage MC are an etched brass like vase pitcher thing. It's really pretty. And I also have some vintage like little pink small glass bowls that I bought from them. My favorite item in the store right now are definitely their rugs. I was looking at the rugs online and they're really nice. My favorite one is this one that's called the Abigail rug. You can shop on their website with the code Sarah 10. But if you're looking for furniture or like bigger items, I would obviously recommend going in person to look at them. And I think if you mention the code to them, they will also honor the discount. The other vintage store I want to talk about is called Curly Redwood Vintage. This is an online Instagram and Etsy shop. She is based in Philadelphia and I found her via a friend. Like one of my friends had bought something from her and really liked her and suggested that I follow them on Instagram. So I started following them, really liked their pieces, and then ran into the owner one day, totally by happenstance at like a vintage flea market. And she and I have now kind of become internet friends, which is really nice. So she offers a selection of really, really interesting, unique vintage items, mostly smaller items, like smaller home decor, glassware, that type of stuff, but really, really beautiful, different type of pieces. And her photography is also really nice. I feel like it really gives you a sense of what things will look like in your home. The thing that I bought from them recently was a set of two brass tragedy comedy masks that I have hanging on my wall in my kitchen. And my favorite item in the store right now is all of the Christmas decor. I believe that their Christmas collection just dropped, so go check it out. They do have an Etsy store. There's not a ton of stuff on the Etsy store. Most of the products are on Instagram, so you can either shop on Etsy with the code Sarah10, or you can shop on their Instagram, and I'm sure if you mention the code, they will honor the discount as well. So now I wanna to talk to you guys about a few artists that I would love to recommend. The first of those is Olivia Reed Photo. Olivia and I met again via Lilac Bijou. She was our fashion photographer at Lilac for many years. She recently moved out to Colorado, so she's now working out there. And Olivia's mainly a wedding photographer. She does absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous photos for weddings and couples, but she also has a print shop with a selection of photos from her travels around the world. So I own a really beautiful print of a castle in Slovenia that she photographed when she was over there visiting. It's one of my favorite parts of my gallery wall. I absolutely love it. And of course, if you're looking for a wedding photographer, I highly recommend Olivia. She travels all over. She's based in Colorado, like I said, but she is always up to travel. So if you're looking for a wedding photographer, definitely look into booking her. I will almost definitely be booking her to shoot my wedding one day. And you can shop her print shop on Pixie Set, so I will link that down below. There are different tabs on there of different locations. You can kind of toggle around to different places and different types of images. And you can use the code Sarah10 for 10% off through the end of the year. Next up is a shop called Found in the Fields. This is my friend Ellie. She and I are friends from high school. We did theater together in high school. She and I are mainly just friends on Instagram nowadays. She is an amazing artist. It's been so fun to watch her evolve over the years. Right now on her website, she has a really nice selection of miniature botanical paintings as well as wood painted ornaments for the holidays. She also takes commissions and offers larger works as well if you're looking for something larger. My favorite item in the store right now are definitely the miniature paintings. My favorite one is the one of Cosmos. And you can shop with Ellie on her website, which I will link down below. And my code is Sarah10 for 10% off through the end of the year. And the last artist I'm going to mention is Mike Adams, who is in Frederick, Maryland. If you watch this channel, if you've watched any of my tattoo videos, you know that I love Mike. He's been tattooing me for several years. I love his work. And in addition to being a tattoo artist, Mike is also a painter, a musician. He does all sorts of stuff that people like kind of don't know about. Everyone knows him as a tattoo artist, but his fine art definitely gets slept on. So go over and follow his Instagram fine art page. Usually around the holidays, he offers a selection of paintings and prints. If they're not up on his website right now, they will be soon, so definitely check back for those. I own a lot of paintings and prints from Mike. 
as well as several tattoos. Like I said, he's kind of my primary tattoo artist at the moment. You can shop with him on his Big Cartel website and use the code SARAH10 for 10% off through the end of the year. And the very last category for today is food, and there's actually just one person in this category, but it's one of my favorites. This is a shop called Eat Your Flowers by Loria Stern, located in Los Angeles, California. I have been following Loria for years, and I love all of her creations. So she does cookies, cakes, pies, and tarts. Her most iconic thing are the shortbread cookies with pressed flowers. So she's very, very into edible botanicals. That's the center of her whole business. Her brand is so fun. It's so filled with color and joy. And she makes these beautiful cookies and cakes and everything for usually for weddings and events, but they're so beautiful, like almost too pretty to eat. She does offer them online. So you can order online for all over the country. And she offers just the pressed flowers. Like if you just wanna buy edible, press botanicals and then use them to make your own cookie or cake or whatever, you can do that too, which is such a good idea. And she's coming out with a cookbook in the spring, which I will be purchasing because I love her work. So my favorite item in the shop right now, like I said, are just the pressed flowers because I think that's really cool that you can buy just the flowers and make your own thing. She also has these really cute little like they're like little funfetti type of sprinkles, but they're like little tiny flowers. And you can shop with Loria on her website with the code ROSES10 for 10% off your order. So guys, that is my 2022 small business gift guide. I really hope that this was a useful video for you. Please go to all their websites and shop, use the code, get your discount, support small businesses. This is a really important time of year for them and it always feels better to give someone a gift or to buy something for yourself that you know is handmade, local, small, and supporting a local community. So let me know which ones of these shops are your favorites. Let me know which ones you've never heard from before. Let me know whose website you're headed to first in the comments. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.